Hello crazy fam, welcome back to another vlog. If you are new here, my name is Tori and I do a bunch of sit down videos and helping you kind of figure out adulting on Wednesdays and then every Monday and or Friday I post vlogs like this where I take you behind the scenes on my live, sometimes filming, sometimes going on adventures, sometimes doing things like today where it's kind of errands, kind of fun, like a mix between. Basically the next sit down video I wanna do is planning out my garden on my balcony because I love to grow plants and I didn't wanna give that up even though I don't have a yard and so for the last two years I have done a balcony garden and this year I'm stepping up my game a little bit and I'm gonna be doing some more stuff before I go I need to not be wearing the same outfit as yesterday well same pants as yesterday I switched my top but I need to fix this hair going on here and figure out an outfit I'm also watching someone else's like gardening video right now just giving kind of inspiration some ideas even though a lot of people don't do balcony gardens so it's a little different when it comes to balcony gardens for sure ah, my makeup is done just a light touch and i took my hair out of the braid so it's all curly i decided since it's a total earthy garden vibe for today i'm gonna wear my kim possible pants and yes i said my kim possible pants because they are this like cargo-y green shorts and definitely with my hair in these pants I look like freaking Kim Possible and that will probably be my next Halloween costume if we ever have Halloween again hanger fall so they're fugly fugly cargo-y pants I think they look kind of cute and fun and like a good Home Depot outfit and yes I'm the person that says a Home Depot outfit but I figured might as well look cute and try a different outfit than I would normally wear just for a little trip to Home Depot, you know? It's not like I'm doing anything else or dressing up for anything else, so I might as well dress up in a fun outfit for a shopping trip because that is all I have right now in life is a shopping trip. I just finished the whole entire planning video and in that planning video, I actually figured out how many plants I can have and where they can go. Basically, I made a map on where everything is gonna go in the garden, labeling it how many I can have. And now I wanna go see what Home Depot has. I'm not gonna get everything just because it's gonna get cold again, but I do wanna see if they have another tree so I can have another tree on the balcony and just see in general what they have and what I need to order online. Either way, let's get to Home Depot before it gets dark because I know the day is going to end soon and it's going to end before I know it. And I want some more time out in the sun, even if it's in Home Depot. <laughs> Oh, and in case you were curious, I definitely need to get my car checked because I have basically all the lights lit up and now it makes like a beeping noise when I drive. And at some point I need to get that done. But instead, I am at Home Depot and I'm gonna go plant shopping. I always feel like it looks like there's a lot of plants because most of them are stuff that you don't obviously eat. And then there's this little section of rows right here with plants you can eat. I'm just gonna kind of see what they have because I don't like want to keep all this stuff inside when it gets cold again. Figured I would just take a picture of like which ones they have and how much they cost so I can get an idea and see if it's better to order them online or get them here. But this is everything that they have. They have so much stuff in the garden department right now and I'm so excited to build my garden this year and plan it all out. Oh, seriously, they have these few rows right here of things you can actually eat and then they have all that section of stuff you can't. It kind of gets me excited for plants until I realize there's really not that many options. Now for the most part, the indoor part doesn't have many things you can eat, but they do have some of the tree stuff, so I want to see what they have this year. They have different types of lemon trees. I'm actually doing a lime tree on my balcony now, so I'm not going to do a lemon tree of any kind. And then they also have some, looks like, avocados. I'm not a huge avocado person, I also don't have room for that, but I'm hoping over there in that row are going to be some kind of like tangerine orange type thing, but like a dwarf version, so I can fit it on the balcony. And that looks like the only types they have and then they have this which obviously i'm not going to be eating that so let's get to the other side and see if we can find one that i do want so i think i am going to get that today unlike the other plants let's see what do they got here oh oh navel oranges kind of rather do a different version of this let's see if i have another one oh there's these navel oranges what's going between that and the other kind but this looks different. Oh, let's see. One of these will have to do, though. 
or I can wait, but I would rather not wait. Here's me legit at Home Depot trying to research the best type of orange treat for being in a pot on my balcony. And I found some of them already on this list. So I'll just kind of see what's the best one. That looks so cute. This is the one I decided on is the Cara Cara one because it's like nice and pink on the inside. So I think that would be cool. I think I need a watering can for that wall one because it'll just be too hard to do it with a normal pot I do it in. But inside of here, I always get tempted to buy freaking everything because it looks like a jungle and I wish my apartment could look like this, but my cat would eat everything. So I gotta stick to balcony only. Like seriously, ignore the music, but it looks like a freaking jungle in here and I love every moment of this. Like, can this be my whole entire apartment just covered in all of these plants? Cause I would love that so much, even though I'd probably kill every single one of them. And Astro would be eating the plants every single day and throw them up all over the floor. So we can't do that, but oh. And there are so many seeds this year. They even have the peas that I was looking for. And last year I couldn't find anything because I went so late in the season that there was like maybe a third of what they have now and I'm so excited. So let's see what we can get. Maybe I'll end up doing the orange peppers by seeds instead. I don't know, we'll have to see. What do you think? Do you think I should get this one, guys? It's Sugar Daddy. <laughs> that is so funny. I'm, it looks like a thicker pea. I wonder if you have to shell it or not. But the name is still hilarious. Ooh, it looks like there's a basket of kind of random ones. So maybe I'll find some stuff that I didn't find on the shelves. Oh, what's this? I wanted to do, whatchamacallit, oh, these are squash. I thought they were gonna be the little tiny pumpkins. I kinda wanna get those. Did I get a few things I didn't need? Yes, am I happy about everything I got? Yes. Did I actually go back and return some stuff that I didn't need? Yeah, I actually did. I'm finally back home, mask free. Time to haul everything I got. Ended up being around like 90-ish dollars, but I also got spray paint. So like it wasn't $90 with the gardening stuff, it was $90 with the gardening and other. I ended up picking up some citrus nutritional spray stuff. I don't know how well it really works, but my limes did not grow last year. They produced too many flowers and weren't able to support them and didn't grow any to full size. So maybe that will help. I also picked up, as you saw, the dwarf um, orange tree type thing. So I figured it'd be good for that. And then I also picked up a watering can, mostly because I know for like the hanging wall planter thing, it'll be much easier to use this than the normal like bucket thing that I use. I also picked up some of this stuff, which is basically the filler to go in like this bug trap thing. Cause we always get these like natty fly things. And I figured I would just get more for that so I can refill it up. I ended up getting the, <laughs> I got the peas, which is the oregano sugar pod peas, which are basically just flat peas, like snow peas. I got some kale. I got some sage. And then I got the pea, the sugar daddy ones, which I thought was just hilarious and I love the name. But it's just kind of like the thicker version of the other snow peas. So I think I'll do like half snow peas, half these. And we'll also see which one like does better in a pot. And then the last thing that I got garden-wise is this bad boy right here, which is a giant box of that like plant food stuff. I don't know if you've ever used it before, but it is the miracle Grow plant food. You mix it with water and stuff. I just got the giant box. I figured I'm gonna be growing a lot of stuff. I'll need to do it multiple times. They say I think it was like seven to 14 days, like every seven to 14 days you're supposed to do it. I probably won't do it that often, but I figured I got this giant box, literally the biggest box they had at the store and it was cheaper than Amazon. So I figured I might as well get it and then use it and just try to be better with my plants this year. Cause if I'm gonna grow that much this year, I better be better with it. And then in this bag right here's the other things I got, which is just four cans of spray paint. That is everything I got. It has been a fun time outdoors filming, going to Home Depot, working on everything. And if you enjoyed watching this vlog, I do post them on Monday and or Fridays and I post my sit down videos on Wednesday. And I would really appreciate it if you go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button down below to join the crazy fam if you haven't already because I post a lot of content and I want you to see it. I want you to watch more videos because if you watch this, I have other content like it. And I hope you have a great rest of your morning, evening, night, whatever it is for you crazy fam. I'll see you soon.